Hello everyone. Welcome to Fudas Medicine Channel. Brinjal Puli Kote. This is a traditional recipe which can go very well with rice and also you can have it like a side dish. This will take minimum 25 minutes of preparation. Let's see it. Take half cup of chickpeas in a vessel, wash it and then add one and a half cups of water. Soak chickpeas overnight or 8 hours minimum. Chickpeas cook very well if you soak it overnight or 8 hours. Next day morning don't drain the water just add half spoon of salt mix it very well close the cooker with a lid and then put the vessel cut 3 medium size brinjal and put it in water in 1 cup of water add little tamarind and soak it Give minimum of 5 whistles. In a vessel, just add the boiled chickpeas. Please don't drain the chickpeas boiled water. Now add all the brinjals to this. Let brinjal boil in the same water. Don't add extra water because we are going to add tamarind water soon. And also don't add tamarind water until brinjal is nicely cooked. If you add tamarind water before then it will not cook very well. Add quarter spoon of turmeric. Add half spoon of salt. We already added half spoon while boiling chickpeas. Mix the salt and turmeric very well. Just cook this brinjal for minimum 2 minutes. Just add extracted tamarind water which is of about 1 cup. Add 2 spoons of sambar powder. Any sambar powder is fine. Mix the sambar powder very well and cook it for another 3 minutes. Meanwhile we have to be ready with the coconut for grinding. Take quarter cup of coconut and grind it in a mixi. Add grounded coconut paste to the brinjal. Mix the coconut paste very well and it has to cook for another 2 minutes. If you want very thick consistency, just mash the brinjal very well. Now you could see it is boiling very well. For tempering add 1 spoon of oil in a dry pan and heat it. Add 1 spoon of mustard seeds. Wait until it splatters. Add 1 spoon of urad dal. Roast it until it turns light brown. Add 4 pinch of hing for flavor. Add 5 curry leaves. Roast it very well until uradhan turns light brown. Add tempering to the kutu. Mix the kutu very well with the tempering. Traditional way of brinjal puli kootu is ready. Puli means tamarind. That's why it is called puli kootu. Just transferring to the serving plate. Always we have to add some tamarind or tomato for tangy taste while cooking brinjal. This kootu can be a side dish for any rice or you can mix it with rice and eat it. The taste will be really really good. You have to try it. 
please try this traditional recipe and leave your comments thank you